Hey, hey, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. Uh, very excited about the video today. Real quick, if you're new to the channel here at Altcoin Daily, what we do, we bring you daily videos um, in everything altcoin and everything cryptocurrency, whether that be vid videos on strategy, whether it be uh, deep dives, whether on uh, deep dives on altcoins or SEOs, whether that be recommendations or whether that be just the news in general, we're giving you guys daily uh, information on everything altcoin and trying to build a community here. Um, what makes my channel different from the hundreds of mediocre crypto channels on YouTube is that I'm not here to uh, provide you guys with filler videos. Um, I'm just a normal guy. I got involved in cryptocurrency about a year or so ago, and I've made some decent money, and I think I'm going to make a lot more money. But these are just my opinions. I use my channel as a starting off point in a way to stay involved in the community because how I'm going to make my channel different from those mediocre channels is I'm going to be providing you with the most relevant, the most need to know, the most helpful information because I been researching and reading altcoin and cryptocurrency information every day and then i make a video about it to help you guys too so anyways uh you guys should subscribe to the channel real quick uh to stay involved go ahead and subscribe right meow anyways let's get into it today i'm going to be talking about coin market cap understanding what coin market cap is understanding how to use coinmarketcap.com, and then we're gonna be getting into calculating future prices of coins. Um, so I understand if um, I have experts and I have newbies following this channel, uh, this video, maybe it's not for an expert. It's always good to you know keep your mind uh, fresh and your uh, muscles fresh, uh, but this video, it might be uh, more for the newbies. And that's okay, because more people are getting involved in cryptocurrency all the time. So let's get into it. What is market capitalization? What do people mean when they say market cap? Well, market cap is the value of a company or a coin. Uh, investors like to know about market cap because it helps them determine risk. Generally speaking, high market caps, like Bitcoin has the highest market cap of 176 billion, so generally speaking, high market caps means lower risk and possibly lower return. And then, uh, you know, lower market caps, like we can see here that, what's a coin I recognize? Uh, we can see here that uh, Snowvio, um, with a lower market cap of 20 million about, that could potentially have a higher risk and a higher return. But of course, you know, higher risk. Uh, so what is coinmarketcap.com? Well, coinmarketcap.com is a great starting off point when you're trying to research specific coins or tokens, or if you're trying to compare those coins and tokens to other coins and tokens. So naturally, when you go to coinmarketcap.com, it will put the uh, cryptocurrencies in order of the highest market cap to the lowest market cap. But of course, you can click on any of these and change it. If you wanted to see the highest price in, uh, right now it's set to USD, but you could change it. If you want to see the highest price or the lowest price in a fiat currency, you could do that. If you want to see the highest or lowest circulating supply, you can do that. Um, let's change it back to market cap real quick. Um, and also you can see the one hour and 24 hour and seven day volume. Or not volume, but the change. Anyways, this site has so many different features. Um, also, if you were to just click on a coin or token, you could then use that as a starting off point because if you clicked on Bitcoin, it would have direct links to websites. Uh, it would have a all time chart um, of how it did in the market, you know, showing you market cap, price and 24 hour volume all the way back to when the coin started. Um, you know, this one starts in July in 2013. Uh, then we could click and say, oh, I only want to see for the past month, how is Bitcoin doing? And it would show you that too. Also, if you wanted to get involved, it would show you the different markets, uh, you know, the coin is on. You could see it's social media. Um, and also, you know, it'll show you the max supply rather than just the circulating supply that we saw before. But is uh, coin market cap the only one that you can use? Uh, no. 
there's plenty of other sites you can use. Uh, for instance, CoinGecko.com. You don't have to use CoinMarketCap.com. Um, a lot of people do use CoinMarketCap.com, but it's not the only one. I think uh, at this point, people are just used to seeing it, um, and, and uh, it ha has a pretty good track record and pretty easy to use. Uh, so that's why people are using it right now. So that's what CoinMarketCap is. That's what CoinMarketCap.com is. But how do you calculate the market cap? Like, you know, we know Bitcoin has a market cap of $176 billion. How is that calculated? Well, how, that cal how that's calculated is the price of the coin times the circulating supply of the coin. So if you times these numbers together, you would get the market cap. If the price went up or the circulating supply went up or down, this would change. Um, and this is one of the reasons I say it's not a bad idea when you're looking to invest in coins to look for coins with a low circulating supply slash low total supply. Because if it's low, it's going to be easier for the price to increase. Also, a lot of times you hear people talking about high market caps, um, mid caps, low caps. What does that mean? Well, there's no official number on you know the range of high caps or mid caps or low caps. But uh, just generally speaking, a high cap will refer to something with the most uh, market cap all the way down. So this has about, you know, about 1 billion in market cap. And high market caps could go all the way down to maybe like 500 million. So 44, electronium, or anywhere around here. You know, there's not an exact number, but generally high market caps uh, will refer to things like that. And, you know, of course, it's a lot less riskier to invest in something in the top 10 or top 20 than it is if you wanted to check out a mid cap. Uh, you know, generally what mid caps mean is 500 million to the $100 million mark. So that would be 500 million about here to 44, all the way down to the 100 million mark, 136, Oyster. And then low market caps are usually, uh, you know, five, or they're usually um, about 100 million down. And obviously these are a lot riskier, but they have potential for higher reward. So now that we know this, how do we calculate the future price of a coin? I set up a little spreadsheet right here. Uh, you can see that the crypto is right here in this row or this column, circulating supply in this cal column, price in this column, and these our times together to create the market cap. And then in this column, column we're going to be um, seeing the, uh, the market cap for Cardano or Electronium or whatever coin you put in here and how it compares to the current market cap of Bitcoin. So, um, you know, right now Bitcoin is trading for about $10,000 per coin with a circulating supply of almost 17 million that equals a market cap of 168 billion, about. Cardano, a lot of times when people get involved um, after they buy Bitcoin and they want to get involved in altcoins, they see that some of these altcoins, oh my God, I can get, I can spend $100 and get a fraction of a Bitcoin, or I can spend $100 and get so many Cardano coins. Um, and you just have to consider that, you know, Cardano has a much larger circulating supply. So it's going to take Cardano um, you know, it's going to take get need a lot more people to get involved to get this price up. Um, with a, you can see that uh, Cardano with a trading at thirty four cents is about five point two percent of the uh, market cap. And Electronium right now is almost at nine cents. It had an all time high of twenty one cents, and that's about 0.33 uh, percent of Bitcoin's market cap. So this is a great way if you wanted to figure out. If you put in a different price, you can figure out, is it really possible for uh, the coin to get there? So a lot of people say that Electronium uh, can get to $500. Very lofty goal. You know, it hasn't even broke 50 cents yet. Um, let's just say, I don't think it's going to get there in the next couple of years, but let's just say Electronium got to $100. You guys are all hoping for it. I know. That would be the market cap, and that would be... 371% of Bitcoin, Bitcoin's market cap. So it would have, it would overtake Bitcoin by 371%. You know, I don't think that's possible. 
um, in the next couple in the next couple years. Oh, but I know what you're I know what you're telling me. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Altcoin Daily. Yes, but you're comparing it to what Bitcoin is right now. Maybe in a year, Bitcoin's you know it peaked at twenty thousand. It's probably going to be above twenty thousand. They say Bitcoin can even get up to a million someday. Okay, so I think a fair price. And nobody knows for sure. It could be higher than this. It could be lower than this. A fair price, maybe where Bitcoin's going to be in a year, is uh, fifty thousand. So we're going to see if Bitcoin were fifty thousand. Is it? Do we think it's possible for Electronium to be at one hundred, comparing the market caps? Let's see. Okay. So if Bitcoin was trading at fifty thousand per coin, is it possible for Electronium to be at hundred dollars per coin? Well, that would mean that um, Electronium's market cap would be 75% about of uh, Bitcoin's market cap. Now, to put this into perspective a little bit, let's go back to coinmarketcap.com. Uh, this is a pretty nifty chart. Uh, it's the percent of total market capitalization, the market cap dominance. Um, so this highest line right here is Bitcoin. Um, this purple one is Ethereum. And you can see right here, they're tracking, you know, the top contenders on overall market cap. And then of course we have other as well. It's tracked. So, you know, right now at this moment, Bitcoin's market cap is about 40%. And the next one um, is Ethereum at 20%. Is it possible, do you think, to have um, you know, Electronium overtake Ethereum, overtake everything, and be very close, 74% of Bitcoin's market cap? That's what you got to think about. Keep in mind, all these other coins will grow too. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to happen personally. But, you know, let's reevaluate in a year or two. Anyways, hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, that's how you calculate. Uh, that's what CoinMarketCap is. That's how you use CoinMarketCap.com. That's kind of how you like can like think about, you know, when you're trying to think about, oh, the future price of each coin and how that market cap will compare to Bitcoin's market cap, which... You know, Bitcoin's market cap, Bitcoin is going to stay number one for a long time. Could it? Could the flippening happen where uh, Ethereum overtakes Bitcoin? Yes, it's possible it could happen, but Bitcoin would still be in the top five for sure because everybody gets into other cryptos. They have to go through Bitcoin first. Um, so it's just something to think about. Anyway, anyway guys, uh, like this video if I provided you with some information. Um, if you have any thoughts on... Uh, you know how to go through coinmarketcap.com or how to calculate price, please comment below um, and subscribe if you want daily information like this. All right, thanks guys. Peace.